If you've been following my journey, you'll know that I've spent the past few years creating a wide range of Total War Warhammer content. From gameplay videos and speculations to meme trailers and creative projects like Learn the Alphabet, along with some gaming musical videos featuring both copyrighted and non-copyrighted tracks. But I think it's time for me to pack up my things and hop on my boat and say farewell to the Warhammer world as I set sail for new adventures, which is making content from other video games. But I will still continue to make Warhammer 3 content, not just for the exciting upcoming DLCs, but also to explore all the wild and creative mods on the Steam Workshop. Now you might be wondering, what content am I going to be focusing on next? Well, if you guys saw the teaser I created on my community page, and if you check the trending page on YouTube under gaming, you'll see that, well besides this and this, you'll see that Minecraft and Roblox are dominating right now. So I've decided to revisit the wild world of Roblox. It's free. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Some of you might remember when I dabbled into Roblox before, but this time, I'm diving back in because I'm also a huge fan of anime. Oh my god! And Roblox is packed with loads of amazing anime games. And the game we're jumping into today is Anime Defenders. It's an anime tower defense game where you collect, level up, and evolve your favorite anime characters to defend your base against waves of enemies in a variety of different stages and game modes. As someone who spent countless of hours playing Kingdom Rush and other tower defense games on Roblox, including anime adventures, rest in peace, my goal is to grind from noob to pro, building up a powerful team and hopefully getting my first secret unit. So without further ado, let's dive in and see what anime defenders has in store for us. So as soon as I started the game, I was greeted with a nice welcome sign and a free unit. Also, what do you think of my drip? Looking good, huh? So anyway, the first thing I did was redeem all the codes to get some extra gems. And the gems are the game's currency, which can be used to summon new units. After a few minutes of summoning, I finally got my first legendary unit, Ice Admiral, aka Awokiji. Plus, he's one of the meta units in the game because he's a support unit that can slow down enemies. After creating my small team, I decided to take on the beat the first story of the game, Windmill Village. And just so you know, I recorded this video during the game's release. So what you're seeing in this video is how the game originally looked and played before any updates or changes. So I placed all my units down to see what they can do, and I several was able to carry us through the waves. Unlike Ace and Natsu, who deal pretty weak damage, after taking down a few waves of pirates, we faced our first boss who turns out to be Alvida, the most beautiful lady on this side of the East Blue. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. And after defeating her, we finally finished Act 1. So I continue on through Act 2, Act 3, Act 4, Act 5, and finally Act 6, where the final boss is none other than Buggy the Cloud. And with that, we just finished the first story of the game. Also, while I was progressing through the story, I was also spending my gems on new units. Because the game just got updated with the addition of raids and a brand new summon banner where you can summon for one of the new limited units. And I got... Nothing good. But the good news is, when there's a new update, there are also new codes. But there was one problem. I need to be level 8 if I want to redeem the new codes. Are you serious right now, bro? After finishing Windmill Village, it was time for me to move on to the next story. Mob City. After clearing a few acts of the story, I finally hit level nice. 5. I was able to claim the rewards for joining the Roblox group that created the game. And now I have enough gems to summon for my next unit. And I got Electric Cyborg. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be Frankie or Zed. So if you know, let me know in the comments. I tried him out, and he's a really expensive hybrid tower. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need someone better than him. After finishing Act 5, I finally reached level 8, which means I can finally redeem all of the codes for some more extra gems. 
Also, I decided to change my drip from this to this. Hello there. And then I used all of my free gems to summon for new units. And I got two really good ones. First is Blue or Bulma, a farm unit that generates money. And second is the Admiral of Lava, or Akainu, a heal unit who not only takes down flying enemies, but also burns them. And would you look at that? Now I have two Marine Admirals in my team. And if you look closely, you might see that Aokiji just got a brand new look. And that's because the game just added a new update with a brand new limited summon pack. And spoiler alert, I got no mythics from that summon pack. I really want my first mythic game. Please give it to me. I also decided to give Akainu his first trait, Critical which boosts his ability to deal critical damage. With these new units added to our team, we wrapped up the second story. Next up, First Academy. Man, this is really taking me back to anime adventures. But before moving on to the next story, I decided to summon another unit, and I ended up getting the best support unit in the game. Pink Rockstar, aka Bocchi, who is a farm unit that can also buff up your units. Which definitely reminds me of Ai Hoshina from Anime Adventures. Rest in peace. And also, rest in peace to her too. And then I decided to do some off-camera grinding, and I finished Cursed Academy, Blue Planet, and Underwater Temple. And I am now currently on Swordsman Dojo. And after clearing a few acts, I decided that it was time for me to summon the Electra Counts. No, Carl Franz, wrong game. I meant to say to summon for my first mythic. No, don't do it. Okay, this is it. The big finale. Yes, we got our first mythic. We got Esper, baby. And what I didn't realize at the time was that Esper is one of the worst mythics in the game. Yep, I wasted all my gems on the worst mythic in the game. Ah, uh, you're bad. You're with you. But hey, at least he does some decent damage and he's also a hybrid. So I'll keep him, but I'm not going to evolve him. I'll save my evolution stars that I got from challenges to evolve an even better mythic than this guy. And speaking of better mythics, a new update just dropped, adding a wish fountain that lets you summon limited mythics using wish stars. But to get those wish stars, you need to play the new game mode called the Hall of Mirrors. It's a circular room that is filled with mirrors, and the longer you survive, the more mirrors open, unleashing more enemies and bosses. I tried doing this on solo, and failed. Yep, looks like I'm going to need some stronger characters. I even decided to summon for this new mythic and got... Nothing. Again. So after two failed attempts on becoming OP, I decided to go finish the story and... I failed again. And fun fact, all the new mythics in the Wish Fountain are characters from the anime Kaiju No. 8, which is also the anime that I finished recently. And my plan was to get all four of them, but they are tough to get since my team isn't strong enough yet to earn those Wish Stars from the Hall of Mirrors. And plus, to evolve them, you need mirrors from the same game mode! Are you kidding me? Yeah, back then, Anime Defenders was pretty tough for free-to-play players, unlike the pay-to-win crowd. <laughs> but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. What? This is not an Avatar video. But everything changed when another update just dropped, which introduced a Battle Pass. Now, as you level up by completing Battle Pass quests, you can earn all kinds of unique rewards, including Wish Stars. <laughs> So I decided to go do the Battle Pass quest so that I can get a better Mythic to replace Esper. And also, I changed my drip again. Comment down below which drip is your favorite. Also, this game added portals. Like in anime adventures, there's a chance it will give you a secret portal where you can get a secret unit. 
And since I have one, I decided to give it a try with some players and maybe I can get my first ever secret portal. And I got... <laughs> nothing! I demand recompense! I want my diamond! Where is my humongous rock? Yep, today is not my day, is it? Then I decided to do some more off-camera grinding again. And wouldn't you know it, I got two wish stars from the battle pass. And then I decided to use them on the fountain and got Soshiro and Kikuru. I even did some off-camera grinding with my friend Liam from my Roblox Funny Moments video. Also, this update added spirits, which acts like traits and gives your units special buffs like extra cash, the ability to ignore shields, increased damage, longer slow and stun duration, increased burden lead damage, and many more. I used the spirits orbs I got from grinding and got crimson for Soshiro, even though he doesn't do bleed or burn. And I got galactic for Kikuru, which boosts her damage. Which is exactly what she needs, cause look at her damage. <laughs> then I tried summoning another mythic and I got Pink Demon Witch. She's a money support unit with an ability when activated, stuns all enemies within her radius, whilst also give you extra cash. Yeah, I think I'm gonna save my evolution stars for somebody else instead of her. And then I did some more off-camera grinding and got more wish stars. And you're not gonna believe what I just got. You really think I got Kafka from a few wish stars, huh? I think of that, we will leave it off here for today, guys. We started from a small team of units to a pretty good decent team with both farms, two good legendary units, and three mythics. Well, four mythics if you want to mention Pink Demon Witch. And of course, we went from level 1 to level 42. But it's not just anime defenders or any anime or non-anime games in Roblox. I got other games lined up. And once again, as teased on my community post, this marks the start of something new for the channel. And to my Warhammer fans, don't worry. I'll still be making Warhammer content. Maybe I might save up enough money to buy Space Marine 2. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!